Hey there, hi there, ho there everybody, and welcome back to Project Hydra. Bit of an interesting week on the server this week. Yoru has gone on some sort of internet vacation, and Spieling's doing a hardcore marathon for the month of July. And of course, Cyrus has started a new playthrough of Elden Ring, which means I pretty much have the entire server to myself. For today's episode, I thought it would be a great opportunity to give my friends something to look forward to when they get back to playing on the server. And nothing sticks out in my mind better than finishing one of the major attractions in my amusement park here at Fandoland. That's right. Today, I will be constructing the final racetrack on the server, and this time around, I'll be recreating one of the most infamous tracks in all of kart racing history. Oh, puns here. This track will have all sorts of obstacles, jumps, twists, shortcuts, and other features to torture our racers in the most hilarious way possible. So don't go anywhere. We got a great episode ahead, and you don't want to miss out on all the furious racing. I love automatic crop farms, but sometimes they're very difficult to build, and they don't always look aesthetically pleasing. And sometimes having your farmer villager out in the open exposes them to dangers of the night. I'm sure he'll be fine. So what if there was a way that you could make an automatic crop farm that was not only mob-proof, and villager safe, but also trample proof. Well, I have just the solution for you. Introducing berry bush fencing. This kind of technology protects your villager from escaping the farm and prevents the zombies, skeletons, spiders, and creepers from entering it. Observe. If I spawn a bunch of husks and they try to get to our villager in the farm, you will see that they are unable to cross this moss carpet. These berry bushes break the pathfinding of both the husks and the villager, so they do not cross this barrier, making it a simple, safe, and efficient way to ensure that your crop farm remains productive 24-7. Constructing this apparatus is very simple. All you need to do is build your villager farm as normal with your 9x9 grid of crops, waterlogged slab, composter on top, and a light source, and your villager will have a job. Then all you have to do is dig a perimeter one block around the entire farm, then take your berry bushes and plant them in the trench you just made. Any carpet you want goes on top. I'm picking moss carpet because it blends in with the grass a little better than the other types. And there you have it. A perfectly safe and productive villager without fear of zombie attacks. And as an added bonus, you can also use this technology to create a parking spot for your horse. That way, you don't have to use a lead or tie them up at all. Just find the same technology, park your horse over it, and then walk away, and the horse will be there when you come back. So remember, if your friends don't find you captivating, they should at least find you crafty. And now if you would excuse me, I got some building to do. So I've spent the last two weeks or so mining out the rest of this area here and flattening it down to sea level. And I've also spent this time gathering a bunch of resources. And you can see there's a little shadowy spot down there. And if we fly in close, we will see the shulker boxes load in and all these shulkers are full of the resources I'm going to need to construct this final racetrack. And if you haven't guessed it by now, this is going to be a track from Garfield Kart Furious Racing. Or is it Furious Racing? I don't know. But anyway, this is going to be the prohibited sight track from Garfield Kart, and it is by far the most resource intensive build I will do this season. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. And that means it's time for a time lapse. <laughs>
just noticed something really cool. If you line up my eyes directly with the horse's ears, it looks like I'm wearing sunglasses. But anyway, the racetrack is all laid out. We have a full course ready to be raced. But there is a slight problem, and that is there's no really out-of-bounds areas. Like, the whole groundwork is in place. It's clear the path that racers have to go in order to complete the track. However, nothing's really keeping racers from jumping off the sides and trying to do uh, weird shortcut moves and stuff like that. So what I think I'm going to have to do is build some fences and construction walls around here to prevent people from cheating. Who knows, maybe we could actually install a couple more shortcuts. While I get started on that, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by sand. It's everywhere. Get used to it. I can't believe I flew 5,000 blocks away from my build just to film that. The racetrack is 100% finished and ready for testing. We added a little pond here with a special shortcut that's really difficult to get to. First, we need to get up onto this platform and then... Okay, did I get it? I did, I did. Okay. And then we go over here. Okay, and then that's how we skip half the track. Other shortcuts we have include this sandstone wall. So if your horse is a good enough jumper, you can take it up that way. Alternatively, if it's a moderate jumper, you can go up this stone wall and go up on this concrete platform. Okay, we can go on top of the pipe. That's interesting. I really like how these trailer uh, storage boxes turned out. I got some diagonals and some regular ones. And I put a little wording on there. You can do with that information what you will. The next shortcut comes when you get up to this dark tunnel, the second one with the brown carpet. If you jump up on this rock here, you can actually get up onto the tunnel, double back onto the wall, and then hop up on top of the concrete scaffolding structure. I'm excited to see what my friends will discover in this track when they race it against me in our first test race. Now all I have to do is wait for them to come online. Hi! I can't <laughs> right away. Ah. Ah. Short baby arms. Ah. <laughs> Welcome guys, thanks for taking time away from your vacations and projects to join me for this uh, playtest of the Garfield Kart Prohibited Sight Racetrack. As you can see on your mini-maps, uh, it is probably the most resource-intense course I've created. <laughs> you guys are just bouncing, ready to go. First across wins, and uh, all shortcuts are legal except for uh, going through this section here because that's the only way to get your uh, steeds into the track. We'll go on the uh, rocket because latency is a thing. So, yeah. on your okay. marks. Yes. Get set. Go. Oh, we're going. <laughs> he said on the rocket pun. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just to make sure. Oh, that was a crisp turn I just made. Nice job, Sai. You guys are done for. I'm making really I, crisp turn. I think uh, pun is going for the shortcut. Shortcut. <laughs> I'm on top of the tube. Boom, I'm in the lead big time. Oh no. Next shortcut. <laughs> Next shortcut. 
Where? <laughs> Look at the map how far ahead I'm, of you I am. <laughs> I did oh, That's dear. my phone, I can't see. <laughs> oh, my horse is so slow for some reason. Imagine. Fun is... Okay, my, my map just went dark. Is this ice? It is ice. Oh no. Someone's outside the map. <laughs> fell out. The sheep. <laughs> <laughs> the sheep. That's fine. I I'll just say it won't up. <laughs> Continue. Uh, on another note, looks like I'm in the lead. How many people are on their second lap right now? Me. I am. Right. I just started oh, my second lap. There there has to be a shortcut. I where? I didn't see I'm, it. I'm gonna go for the shortcuts I know. I should have told you guys what? the shortcuts ahead of time so we were all on the same page. <laughs> I'd be like, what shortcut are you trying to Got it again! <laughs> oh, but it, I'm actually not making that much progress because I'm struggling to do it. I think I'm doing pretty well. I'm in first place. You have absolutely no idea. Wait, what no. Fine, are you in using? front of me? Fine, are you in front of me? Yes. She cheated and he still. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say so cheat. I'd, I'd say happy to the accident. Happy accident. <laughs> Going on my third lap. Uh, nah. That's ridiculous. Oh. I don't know what shortcut you've used. So you gotta be an idiot like me to get <laughs> to make the shortcut. But if you don't want to cheat, then don't be like me, I guess. No one saw this. No one saw this. Ah, Please. it's so difficult to do. Aha! I saw that. Instead of... No, you didn't. No, you didn't see that. Mm, I, I, I'm failing it so many times. Final lap. That is the shortcut. Are, are we? Are we catching up? Uh, yes, we caught up to fun. No! Oh, I got it. I fell down. Why did I fall down? No! Oops. Um. Oh. First I think I saw what you did. Oh, I got it. I got it. Ooh. Ooh, I just barely made you... that jump. So if you cross it, so like, when when is when is the third? Cheap, you're very much cheating. <laughs> I don't know how to get back in. <laughs> 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 I'm not even falling like, out of purpose. Like I don't like I wanna make arguments that, that <laughs> sheep is very much disqualified. <laughs> I would like to disagree. So funny, you gotta do something against falling out of the map. Uh I no did. one else has had that. And done. What? I'm looking the right way. Yeah. All I have to do is defeat sheep. Oh, that's a shortcut. Uh, I almost no! caught up to No! Get back here, sheep! Get oh. back here, sheep! No! Second place! <laughs> the... And Square. Just Square. <laughs> sheep, I want to disqualify sheep. sheep. You sheep, was show, out of show the me box. what you did. I, I want to see what you did. I thought I might see a short... Or I, I didn't even know it was shorter, but I saw you could do it, so... Hold on. In the first lap, yeah, um, oh, this I went is out where you go. here. Oh, oh you, you, that's the shortcut. You went up that I way. Here. Okay. Wait, where did you go? Ah, oh, there you are. And then I just fell out. And then okay. for the oh. next few rounds, I just kind of winged okay. it oh, by where, just going places. Well, where, where did you come back in? You're and that's why I completed my in. first lap. You haven't finished a single lap yet, then. Yeah, yeah, you haven't. <laughs> so she's <laughs> actually so last. <laughs> yeah. That's your opinion. <laughs> you, you, you know, you that have to cross the finish line. Second. <laughs> that's just your opinion. Second. I would. I. I. I think that the majority. The majority. Would everyone agree here otherwise. agrees that not you ever, you're last. So that means what? that the majority says you're last. No, no, no. There are more people in the world than there are here right now. So we'll you make know. a poll. I can guarantee you, everyone agrees that you're last. Leave a comment whether or not you thought sheep cheated. 
<laughs> I think this is going to be fairly one-sided. <laughs> I can I can almost guarantee that there's only going to be one comment for not cheating, and it's going to be his own comment. <laughs> this was certainly a fun time racing on our final racetrack, the Garfield Kart Prohibited site. It was a lot of fun making this episode. I hope you really enjoyed watching it, and I look forward to seeing you next time as we get into more shenanigans on the Project Hydra server. Bye for now. You're leaving? Yep. Hello, Leo, and welcome back to another episode of Project Hydra. And now don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share my video. And I hope you have a great day and wonderful and amazing day if you're watching Fandos video too, I guess.